guys, Sarah here from Crocheting Lefty, and today we're going to learn the basket weave stitch. Now, this is super simple. I know it might look intimidating, but it is super simple. It's just some front post double crochets and some back post double crochets, and then I've added along the side a half double crochet um, just to give it a nice little border. So, if you wanted to make this a blanket, or a scarf or a beanie then you know you're all set and ready to go so get started on that um, I'm going to be using this pink box simply chunky yarn here it's a tea rose and I will also be using that yarns recommended hook size which is a six millimeter J hook so that is that and always I try to bring scissors and a yarn needle to the table because those are some essential tools that you will need for any kind of crochet project so we're going to start off with our slip knot now this stitch is multiples of eight plus three so I'm going to chain up 16 and then I will add my 3 at the end. So to do a chain, yarn over and pull through. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have my 16 and I will add my three. Now I'm going to skip the first two stitches here. Move this over here. There we go. We're going to go into these first two. We're going to skip through these first two stitches and work our first double crochet into that third stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that third chain, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and you're going to repeat that double crochet all the way across your row in each chain now this is just like the setup row for your basket weave stitch Now that we're at the end, here's our first row of all double crochet. Moving on to our second row, we're going to chain two, and this chain two is not going to count as a stitch. So we're going to do one half double crochet into that very first stitch here. So you yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through three. So because this chain is not, we're not counting this as your first stitch. We're also going to skip this first post here and we're going to work in to the next, these posts here, this post and then this post and that post. And we're going to do a double, front post double crochet, so yarn over. If you need to separate your stitches, your posts from each other so you can really get that hook in there. Okay, so we're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to do the same thing in the next post. Insert your hook around that post, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, Now, because we worked into these two, three posts, we want to make sure we skip these three stitches here. So we're going to work into the next three posts, but they're going to be back post double crochets, which means we're going to yarn over and we're going to insert a hook from the back and to the, from the back to the front and then back. 
so it'll look like that if you need to like rotate your work a little bit so you can get a better view then do that as well so you want to make sure you separate those posts insert your hook yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and again insert your hook from the back and do your back post double crochet now we skip these three stitches here and we're going to be working into the next three posts there and those are going to be front post double crochets just like the first three that we did Oops. And again, we're going to be working to these three posts here. Back post double crochets and coming in from the back to the front. Okay, and now we have our last three posts here and we're going to do three front posts double crochets now we have one more stitch here and we're going to work one half double crochet into that stitch okay so chain two turn your work and this is what it's going to look like We're going to work one half double crochet into that very first stitch because our chain two is not going to count as a stitch. Okay, and then from here, now that we've turned our work, these posts here that may have that were front post double crochets here are now going to be we're going to work back post double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook from the back and we're going to work three of them and the reason why we're doing back post double crochets is because if we did it this way we're going to have like a step see how you get that step and we want a long stitch here a long post stitch I should say Okay, and now we're going to work front post double crochets into these three posts here. And then in these next three stitches, these three posts, we're going to do back post double crochets. And then in these three posts, front post double crochets. And then the next three, the last three, back post double crochets. And in that last stitch, one half double crochet. Chain two and turn your work. So we have the makings here of our basket weave. Our front and back stitches. Okay, moving on to our next row, it's going to be very similar. One half double crochet into that very first stitch. 
So now, instead of working our front post double crochets, we're going to work half our back post double crochets into those three stitches. And it's going to give that illusion of the basket weave. And then in these posts here, we're going to do front post double crochets. And then in the next three back posts. And then the next three front posts. And then the next three back posts. And in that last stitch, one half double crochet. There we go. Moving on to our next row, one half double crochet into that very first stitch. And then here we're going to do front post double crochets. Three front post double crochets. And then three back post double crochets. And then three front posts. And three back posts. And whoops. Yeah, sorry. Three front posts at the very end. And in that last stitch, a half double crochet. So here's the front and the back of your work. All right, we're gonna move on to our last row here, our last two rows here. We're going to start with our chain two and a half double crochet into that first stitch, yarn over, and three front post double crochets into those first three posts. And then three back post double crochets. and three front post double crochets. Three back post double crochets. Three front post double crochets.
and then a half double crochet at the end. Moving on, you'll start to see that there's a row repeat where you're having two, uh, where the stitches here, there's two rows here, and there's two rows here. So we're going to yarn over and do our half double crochet. And our second row for the basket, for this basket weave, oops, sorry, we're going to do back post double crochets. And then three front post double crochets. Three back post double crochets. Three front post, and finally three back post. And last but not least, that half double crochet at the end. So you'll re continue to repeat row 3 through 7. And that will give you that basket weave uh, illusion. I don't know which one is better on camera, honestly. If it's the gray or the, actually the purple looks a lot better. So, but that is it for for this stitch lesson. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to continue watching videos like this, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. Um, if you have any other questions about any of the stitches or would like to see different type of stitches or have a request for a different type of stitch, let me know in the comments below and I can get that started for you. And like always, stay healthy and stay safe. Have a great one. Bye, you guys.